Good morning. It's being reported that Toyota plans to move its sales and marketing headquarters to Texas from California. About 5,300 people work in this location, but the move could take several years, and it isn't known whether everyone will be asked to move. It does, though, move the sales team closer to the plants, which are in Texas, Mississippi, and Kentucky. Joining me now is David Nelson. He's the chief strategist for Bell Point Asset Management. David, you know, Toyota's had some quality control issues, and this gets their management closer to production. I mean, will that help solve some of these very expensive mistakes that they've made? Uh, I think it will help, uh, but I also don't think this is the primary reason that they're doing it. I, I actually think in the end this is really about money. You've got a zero percent tax rate in Texas. Uh, you've got, uh, I'm not sure what it is in California, I believe it's between eight and nine. That's a pretty attractive, uh, you know, incentive for them to move. And it's pretty clear that uh, California's business model is really under attack, especially by Governor Rick Perry from, from Texas, and I think it's a blow for Jerry Brown. Well, certainly Texas does have a lot to offer. There is no state income tax. It is very affordable for it housing. Is. And, you know, a company doesn't have to pay their people that much for them to have a very good quality of life. So Texas makes a pretty good argument it's, to be there and not in California. It, it's very attractive. And I think, you know, we were talking off camera and, and some of the reasons that Toyota, you know, established itself in California really don't exist anymore. Now they're manufacturing, you know, throughout the United States. And if you're in Texas and you have to travel, you know, to your various locations, you're a couple of hours, you know, from either coast as opposed to maybe making a, you know, a pretty long trek. And we can probably solve some of these issues that, that you just mentioned. Now, you brought up Rick Perry, Governor Rick right. Perry, certainly did make it very public to a lot of other states that he wanted their companies to move. Uh, does this mean he has bigger plans in store for him? I think unquestionably he has bigger plans. Uh, this is probably part of a, you know, a potential pre presidential bid in, uh, in 2016. And I don't want it to be lost that, you know, that, that you know, he's bringing jobs from California to Texas. That's going to look very good on his resume in, in, the, in the primaries for 2016. A lot of money has gone, in, gone into this. And he's not just attacking California. He's been going all around the United States, even to New York to bring business there. And I, I think it probably is a warning shot for states with high uh, corporate taxes. You know, look out, you're next. All right, well, there you go. It is becoming a hot political issue, taxes in states and their taxation. That's David Nelson from Bell Point, and I'm Deborah Borchardt with The Street.